Robbie, you look after the southwest uh, in reference to Machine Tool Sales with DMG Murray. Now, you're going to take us to four prime customers. Who are they? Uh, so, over the two days, um, the morning of day one, we're going to be going to Log Logic, uh, a small company down in Columpton that build track vehicles. Um, they've got a CLX450 V4, so that's with a Y axis and milling. Um, recently purchased and soon to be delivered a V6, so that's with the counter spindle, CLX450 again. Um, in the afternoon, we're going to be going to Coker Engineering in Taunton. Uh, they've got uh, an NHX 4000 with a 21 RPS. That's a horizontal with 21 pallet pull. Um, and then an NZX 2000, that's twin spindle, triple turret, triple wide. So it's a bit of a beast of a machine. Day two, we're going to, in the morning, we'll be going into uh, turn speed precision down uh, over in Yeovil. And those guys have currently got an i30V, which is a twin pallet vertical, high speed, um, and then a CMX50U, which is a 3 plus 2 universal milling machine. Um, and they've recently purchased a, uh, an NZX2000 as well, twin turret. And in the afternoon, boundary precision engineering, CMX70U, 3 plus 2 again, but the, with the bigger table, um, 65 monoblock and an old Ecomil 50. Well, I'm quite looking forward to finding out why they're buying DMG Mori machines. We better get going. Robbie, we're down in the southwest with some of your customers. We're here at Log Logic now. You've sold them this uh, DMG Mori CLX Universe Attorney Center with the Siemens control. But tell me why you've sold this machine and how it's benefiting them. So Log Logic, we're looking for flexibility, efficiency in setup, um, programming efficiency. So the 450 with Siemens 840D basically delivered on those points and many more. Um, they wanted accuracy uh, through lights out machining uh, through the night, through over the weekends. Um, with the scales that we've got on the machine that delivered that, uh, as I said, the control uh, with a fully conversational shop turn um, that allowed them to program whilst cutting metal. Um, so they're always uh, they always had a program ready um, when say the you know the hundred off, the ten off, the thousand off finished. Um, in this unit, it's very cold, temperature fluctuates massively, um, and uh, on the day shift and the night shift, um, and the machine, because it's got scales in X, Y, and Z, um, allowed them to hold that sort of sub 10 micron accuracy, X, uh, five microns on the X axis. Um, so yeah, it was just that consistency, the efficiency of setup, um, and just the general quality of the build as well. Um, you know, it, they, they, these guys are milling on it, they're, they're turning, the, the, the mix of parts is, from material to actual complexity, is uh, broad, really. So. so, and it's been that successful for them. I understand that they've just ordered uh, a new CLX with a sub spindle, and that's going to be delivered in a couple of months' time. Exactly, yeah. Um, so the guys have sort of realized the limitations of having a, a hydraulic tail stock, and uh, now they want to sort of. Uh, they want to branch into the market, keep pushing and pushing. They want that sub spindle so they can do that full six sided machining. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to getting the machine in December and then start cutting metal in, in January and seeing you know, the, the, the types of parts that are actually coming off. It's, it's so it's going to give them the extra capacity effectively? Well, capacity and capability. I mean, this is the next step for these guys. They're on a V4, which is the Y axis with milling. Um, and uh, this will give them that and more. So they've got all that back working on the sub spindle that they historically have not been able to do. Robbie, you brought us to Coke Engineering. Now, you know, a very, very new factory here. You've got two large machines. For instance, we're looking at this NHX 4000 with the RPS 21 pallet systems. Now, how did you get involved with these guys and what sort of materials and applications are they running here? So I first met Giles about three years ago when I started uh, with DMG Mori, sort of managing or, or supplying solutions in the Southwest. Um, and from that point, pretty much to the point where they bought it the early part of this year uh, and the other machine that we're going to talk about in a minute. Um, we looked at many, many different platforms for many, many different types of parts, materials, as you said. Um, and uh, since they invested in a new building, it was developed, built, finished. Um, then they moved forward with actually expanding their sort of site capacity. Um, and the, yeah, they, the guys were looking for uh, solutions that, that ticked, to be honest, many, many different boxes. Um, so, yeah, lots of, lots of our competitors and us went in on it. 
And um, it was a very, very tough process for both this platform and the, the NZX2000, uh, the 12,000 RPM triple turret, um, you know, built-in motors, 12K, uh, that will see them, even though they're not machined in aluminium on the NZX2000, um, moving forward, any alley parts, you know, that, that they'll be able to do on that machine. Um, with the horizontal, the, the 4,000 with the 21 pallet pull, um, you know, they've got spare capacity on the machine, um, uh, but at the moment it serves the purpose and they can load it up. They've got that full weekend lights out machining or night machining. Um, it's, it's up to them. They've got the room to expand to bring whether it's sort of difficult to machine uh, exotic alloys or aluminium or anything in between. The machine is built to, take, to, to cut that kind of metal. The pallet pool is built to support it. Um, and yeah, it's just, just great two platforms for moving forward for this company. Um, I'm not going to pretend it hasn't been easy. Um, to, for them to get the right cost per part, uh, there's, there's had to have been a sort of collaboration between us, the, the engineering team at COCA, um, CAM suppliers and, and cutting tool suppliers, and we all sort of worked together to get these guys to the point where they are today, where they're um, you know, making some real money on, on these two different platforms. Robbie, day two, we're down in Yeovil at Turn Speed. Now, these guys have got a fantastic showroom of machines here, but obviously some quite new DMG Mori machines as well. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your relationship with Turn Speed and what they actually do here. Um, so, I started working with Turn Speed about 18 months ago. Um, they actually came on the stand at Mac. Uh, they already had uh, one of our machines here sold by a reseller a few years ago. Um, in terms of what they do, it's generally a high volume turning shop, but uh, and they do do high volume milling as well, hence where we stepped in. Um, the i30V and the CMX50U are, uh, are focused on um, aluminium component. Uh, the i30V uh, is designed for, so it's a very, very fast machine, uh, 62 meters a minute in rapids. It's got a two second pallet changer um, and specced up with the either a, a 40 taper or a 30 taper, you can have up to two second to chip to chip times as well, tool changing. Uh, it's a very, very fast machine. Um, and then with the CMX50U, again, not quite as quick, but for the money that you pay, um, with 3 plus 2, which gives you full five-sided machining. And in these guys' case, they're actually doing full six-sided machining. They're getting a finished component off in one hit. So. And I suppose space is quite a premium here, and, and these two machines do have a, a small footprint in relation to other machines in the marketplace. Definitely. There are actually two machines here that we took out, um, and one of them was a twin pallet five axis. That's what the CMX 50 replaced. It's about a third, maybe a half of the size of what it was in here. And the i30V was a small three axis vertical with a pallet changer, again, about half the size. So together, just the combined sort of footprint of these machines is about just one of what, what was here in the beginning. And speaking to uh, Steve here, you know, I was talking to him about the type of work that he's actually picking up, mainly aluminium, but also he said, look, I've got something else on the way from TMG Murray as well. Yeah, so obviously I said, I've, I've focused on milling here, but high volume turning. Yesterday we saw the NZX2000 at Coca. These guys are moving down that route, as well as a couple of other companies in the Southwest as well. So that machine, it's not just for that heavy duty grunting of like, you know, exotic alloys or EN24 tiers we saw. It's also um, high speed, uh, aluminium uh, and just high volume production as well. So yeah, these guys will be getting one, I think within the next week or so, so it's exciting. And, and that's a great thing with DMG Mori, the portfolio of different products that you've actually got, there's not much that you can't put on the table, is there? there no, there really isn't. From multi-spindles, five axis, mill turn, sliding head, you know, the range is massive and there really isn't anything that myself or my colleagues can't sit and find a solution um, with customers all over the world, basically. Robbie, you brought us to Boundary Precision here in Yeovil. Now, this is not your typical job shop. They've got some quite complex parts. They're working in the aerospace sector. A number of years ago, they invested in the DMG Mori uh, DMU 65 monoblock, but yeah. you've got a brand new CMX down there. Tell us a bit about the journey and why you sold in the CMX rather than another monoblock. So very, very, a very common theme when we're going, when I'm going around 
different sites, meeting different customers, prospects as well, um, that have got five axis capabilities. They're not actually running full five axis jobs on those machines. So when Dave asked me to come in, we sat down, we went through the drawing packs, looked at the types of work they wanted to put on another machine. And although the 70U and the 65 monoblock have got very similar sort of working envelopes, uh, they just didn't need that full five axis simultaneous. So the, the three plus two that the CMX 70U gives uh, was more than ample um, for what the guys were after. And I think, I've speaking to Dave as well, they're, they're trying to use their, their, their technology excellence, let's say, from aerospace to go into you know, other work. So if you've got smaller parts, the CMX is perfect, isn't it? Yep, small, large. I mean, the 70U's got an 800 mil diameter table, 50 that we saw at turn speed, that's a 630 table. So, you know, on there you can have multiple stations. I mean, it really, the possibilities are endless. Um, a great, uh, something that I'm really, really trying to push at the moment is um, companies with three axis verticals, maybe a, four, a fourth axis on the table as well. Um, you know, these companies, rather than buying the same technology again, why not look at full five-sided machining, or like in Turnsby's case, six-sided machining, literally snap the part off and it's done. Um, the guys here are doing exactly the same thing as well. Um, they can get all five sides and literally the final op, maybe a service feature, skim the back face and it's done. Um, it's, it's a huge selling point when compared to that three-axis vertical that we see everywhere around the southwest in the country. And, and, and coming back from Emo, coming back from your, your open house quite recently, there, there is a common theme, isn't there? You know, it's all about education. You've got such a wide portfolio of different products, and that's why the relationship b between you and your customer is very important. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, the difficult thing is just getting in to talk them through the different machines, um, and it is a bit of a minefield. With not just us, with everyone. You know, you go on someone's website, and there's there's a hell of a lot on there, and a hell of a lot to absorb. Um, and then when you start comparing different machines, it's difficult. So you know, all I ask uh, different customers to do just give us the opportunity. Let me come in. Let's look at the jobs and get the right solution for you. Um, and we'll work together on on going down that sort of going on that journey, as you said. What a great couple of days with you, Robbie. Boundary precision, fantastic relationship you got with these guys. But, you know, DMG Mori have got a massive portfolio. So for any engineers that don't know DMG Mori and are looking to purchase a new machine tool, what's your message? The range is broad. Uh, we've got, as I said before, we've got a, a lot of different types of machine tools, a lot of different types of solutions, um, including finance automation. Um, so the message is you know, contact me via my email or uh, just through the website and challenge me.